Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Speed channel. So the vending machine point system had just been introduced in SES server. These updates supposedly come together with the Glassim page update. If you had watched the Glassim update preview video that I made, I had included this as one of the features that came along with the Glassim map. For SES server, the game developer implemented it separately. So I figure I need to make a separate video for this feature. In this video, I'm going to explain how the vending machine point system works. Let's check it out. Now, when you open the vending machine interface, you will see the progress bar on top of the page. Every time a player uses the vending machine, one point will be added to the overall progress. Every time you use the vending machine, you will gain one point and will be recorded here. Once the progress bar is full, the system will randomly choose one of the players who had contributed to the overall progress and reward the player with the selected card. The higher point that you have, the higher the chances of you being selected. You can see the list of cards to be won here. And you can also turn on the notification on which card you wish to participate. The previous lucky winner will be listed here. Since this feature is rather new in ROX, no one had been chosen as the winner yet. To know more about the criteria for being chosen as the winner for the card, we're going to look for this feature at Taiwan server. So this is the list of the previous selected winner for the card in Taiwan server. You can see how many points they have prior to being chosen as the winner and the date they got the card. If you see the time interval between each time the players got a card, the progress bar will be full in 1 to 2 weeks time. This is similar to the weapon and the headgear vending machine. Now along with this update, the vending machine has also been revamped, especially the card vending machine. A new category of card has been added, the premium card. The cards that are listed here are higher level monster cards dropped by monsters start from level 76 onwards. This group of cards will be listed as the elite card in the future update. If you want to know more about the elite card, you can watch this video here. In that video, I explain what is the elite card, where you can get them and where you can use them. I will put the link at the description down below. Now, that is also why the premium card will cost more cat coin than the fair card. Regardless, in general, the cat coins needed for each draw in any categories are also increased after the update. That's it for the vending machine point system update. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It is free so you don't have to pay for it. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. That's it for now, I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing, bye bye!